ever heard whispers about a jet? Like, so advanced, it's meant to go up against the best of the best. That's the MiG-35. Got to be Russia's answer to the big leagues, you know, fighter aircraft. And that's what we're looking at today, taking a deep dive into this MiG-35. Why all this hype? And why are we only seeing, like, glimpses of this supposed game changer? We've got a ton of intel here, defense reports and tech analyses, even stuff from the arms market. Yeah, it's a bit of a puzzle, isn't it? Get ready to figure out why the MiG-35, a jet that seems built for, like, total air dominance, is kind of stuck on the runway. So picture this, 2017, the MiG-35 makes its big debut. They're calling it fourth generation plus. Which in the world of fighter jets, that's not just an upgrade, it's a statement. They wanted to blow past its predecessor, the MiG-29. This was about a whole new level of capability. Basically saying, hey everyone, check out this tech. They weren't messing around. And they weren't kidding about the tech. What's crucial here is that Russia didn't just want to improve on the MiG-29, they wanted a multi-role aircraft. The MiG-35, on paper at least, could handle a screaming dogfight one minute and deliver a precision strike the next. That kind of flexibility is like having a Swiss Army knife in a dogfight. They even went all out on the engines, right? We're not just talking about a bit more power here. The MiG-35 has these RD-33 MK engines, and they're designed to be more powerful, more fuel efficient. <laughs> it's sneakier, right? They wanted to make this thing harder to spot on radar. Now, this is where things get interesting. These engines aren't making the MiG-35 invisible like a true stealth aircraft, but they give it a definite edge. Think of it this way. It's not about being completely hidden, but about delaying that crucial moment when an enemy locks on. Those extra seconds can be the difference between winning and losing in a high-stakes engagement. It's all about those extra seconds when it comes down to it. And speaking of high stakes, this jet's got a fly-by-wire system, puts the pilot in total control, What's really cool about this tech, though, is that it lightens the workload, right? Mm. Instead of wrestling the aircraft, pilots can focus on strategy, tactics, almost like having an AI co-pilot. Exactly. And that's a major advantage, especially in the chaos of a dogfight. Now, you might be wondering, how does this impact the MiG-35's performance in a real-world scenario? We're getting to that. This advanced fly-by-wire system, coupled with the jet's aerodynamic design, gives it incredible maneuverability. Imagine this thing pulling off turns and evasive actions that would leave other jets in its dust. It's designed to outmaneuver, outsmart, and outgun. We're talking about a jet that seems to have it all right. Cutting edge tech, serious firepower, the ability to dance around its enemies. So with all this going for it, why isn't the MiG-35 like plastered across the headlines? Why aren't we seeing it, you know, soaring through those victory parades? Yeah. Buckle up, because here's where things get a little complicated. Yeah, this is where the rubber meets the runway, so to speak. Remember that massive order we talked about, the one for 37 of these supposed super jets? Well, get this, the actual number delivered, a tiny fraction. We're talking single digits here. What happened? It's impossible to ignore the timing, right? Russia's invasion of Ukraine has put a huge strain on their resources, like a global economic earthquake. Imagine trying to build a high performance anything, let alone a fighter jet, in that environment. That's the reality they're facing. So it's not just about building the MiG-35. It's about whether Russia can even afford to, like yeah. right now. And it's not even just about the money, is it? Exactly. Wars are as much about logistics as they are about firepower. Suddenly, churning out these advanced jets has to compete with keeping their tanks fueled and their troops supplied. It's a tough balancing act, and the MiG-35 seems to be, well, not at the top of the priority list. It's like... You got this amazing new product, but you can't get the parts to build it. And even if you could, you can't afford to ship it. Tough situation. Exactly. And it gets even more complex when you look at the international scene. Remember those key players who were initially interested in the MiG-35? Countries like Egypt and India, they ended up going with different aircraft altogether. Yeah, what's the deal with that? These countries weren't just picking a jet based on, like, a flashy brochure. They were making a long-term strategic commitment. This snub suggests some serious doubts about the MiG-35's ability to measure up and perhaps even more concerning about Russia's ability to deliver on its promises as a top-tier arms supplier. And that's a whole other can of worms right there. Right. So it's one thing if you can't build the jet. It's another if no one trusts you enough to build it for them. Yeah. So we've got ourselves a real head scratcher here, right? We're looking at the MiG-35. It's got all this amazing tech. It's supposed to be the top dog. But it's facing some serious headwinds. It really highlights how complicated this all is. Right. So where does that leave the MiG-35? What does the future hold for this thing? That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? The MiG-35 is at a crossroads, and it shows that even having cutting-edge tech doesn't guarantee anything. 
you got to factor in the bigger picture. We're talking geopolitics, economics, even how warfare itself is changing. Yeah, it's almost like this jet is a symbol of all the challenges Russia's up against right now. Exactly. The MiG-35's future is tied to whether Russia can get a handle on all this. Can they overcome those economic hurdles? Can they get back in the game on the world stage? If they can, then maybe, just maybe, we'll see the MiG-35 actually live up to all the hype. Big if, though, right? What if they can't? What happens to the MiG-35 if things don't change? Well, there's a real chance it just becomes a footnote, you know? A what-could-have-been story, proof that even the most impressive tech can be grounded by things totally outside its control. Kind of makes you think, huh? Mm. It's not always enough to just build something amazing. Got to be able to support it. Got to have a world that wants it. Well, there you have it, folks. Our deep dive into the MiG-35, a jet that's both a marvel of engineering and a big question mark, all at the same time. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive. Hope you learned something new. And we'll see you next time when we take a deep dive into something else.